Colorado's Trevor Woods was, uh, you know, Dion kind of talked about his work ethic, his work habits, and how he's a pro. Matt will show this and get your, get your take. Mm -hmm. Been a great player. You're going to go pro, man. Understand that. I believe in you. We believe in you. You're a pro. I don't know which way, or if it's linebacker, special teams, what is it, but you're going to go pro. Ain't I, I can't think of nothing you do wrong. Is there anything you do wrong? He hustles. Great attitude, great teammate. Uh, came in here with the OG OBs, maintained himself, never complained, right? That's what he's supposed to do. He is always where he's supposed to be. Has he ever been late? Okay. <laughs> ever talked back? Okay. Ever been undisciplined? Okay. Ever dressed out of order? Not getting all in the weight room? That's what we're looking for. That's exactly what we're looking for. Anybody? Uh, discuss Woods and his work ethic. I believe he was he was there when Dion gave his interview. Yeah, he was a carryover. He was on the one. He was on the one and eleven team and played a lot. He played really well last year. They moved him to linebacker and he got even better. Mm -hmm. um, I, I do think he will be a, a special teamer, reserve linebacker, start some games in the NFL for a long time. Mm -hmm. They love guys like him. Um, he reminds me a ton of Chad Muma, who went to Legend High School and almost won the Buckus and was a third round pick by the. Uh, Jaguars from Wyoming mm -hmm. and Muma's Dungeon family, and a, a, you know, been on the show several times. Just got married, idiot. Um, <laughs> uh, but look, it, it, Woods is a stud, and Coach Prime doesn't just call anybody out. And it's nice to see him. You know, he showed up and said, "All you guys, you know, I'm bringing my own luggage, and it's Louie, and all y'all suck pretty much." And Woods and Offerdahl were in that huddle; they were there. They were there when that happened, and they both decided to stay, and now Charlie's running with the ones, and Woods is being told he's a pro. So sometimes sometimes the coach challenges you by seeing what you'll do. Mm -hmm. The same thing he did with Zane. Are you going to be here next year? Well, are you going to go in the transfer portal? That's mm -hmm. the way Coach Prime operates, bro. And, you know, some guys are smart enough to see through it, and some guys left, and, you know, I, I think that I would – Bet the majority of guys that left regret that they left. Yeah, no doubt. Now um, that, I don't think that Casey Roddick regretted it. He went to Florida State, and they were ranked third in the country all year. It's like there, there are circumstances where I don't think guys regretted it, but I do think that there were a lot of guys that were told to let leave this year. There were a lot of guys that left on their own the first year because they were scared of what was going to happen. There were guys that were told to leave this year, and if you don't think that's happening, you're fucking stupid. Yeah, no doubt. Let me ask you, Woods and Offered all they were there when Prime came in, gave that uh, speech about Louis but luggage and all that. Do you think that they'll be locker room leaders, kind of having seen the transformation of you know the Colorado football program? I mean, he's wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised at all if both of them have captain patches or what is it, D's and L's, dogs yeah. and le dogs and leaders. Mm -hmm. I'm cool. Well, whatever it is, that's a captain patch. The D or the L means you're a captain. So. Mm -hmm. I love that Coach Prime puts that on his players' shoulders. I wouldn't be surprised if there's eight or nine of them this year. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. I think I'm really the more the fucking better, honestly. The more leaders you have, the better. Mm -hmm. This is a pretty veteran team that's been through a lot. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think that they have the potential to be pretty fucking good. Yeah, no doubt. 